movies, last few months, reading the news has become a daily nightmare. Many people are constantly afraid of what tomorrow is hiding. However, I didn't know that the same device I used for reading that kind of news could also be an answer. Social media is playing a big role in connecting us with so many people across the globe. And that is how everything started. Hello everyone, my name is Anaïs. I'm Gabonese and I live in South Africa. I know that the period we are currently going through now because of the COVID-19 is not easy. Some of us have seen their whole daily life completely turned upside down because of this situation. But as young people, we will not forget that we can transform a bad situation in good opportunity. What can kill you, make you stronger. Hello everyone, I'm Nozomu. I live in Japan and I'm Japanese. This time is very hard due to the COVID-19 and many changes has been caused by it in our lives. I think this is the time when we need each other's help and care more than ever. So let's try to our best to help and care each other more than ever so that each of us can feel that we are not alone and there is always someone who help and care for you. Moi c'est Maïva d'origine camerounaise vivant au Rwanda. Mon message pour vous ce matin c'est la paix. La paix pourquoi Parce que je crois que celui qui est en paix avec soi-même est en paix avec le monde qui l'entoure et vice versa. Et à travers cela nous sommes capables de réaliser tellement de choses ensemble. Pourquoi Parce que cette paix là nous unit et nous ramène ensemble. Alors souvenons-nous que la paix est the ultimate goal. Uh, I'm Catherine from Kenya. I'd like to share a message of hope. Um, love and peace um, across the continent and I also want to urge the young people to be peace ambassadors especially during this time of the global pandemic I want to urge them to be uh, a good examples to the future generations of leaders and spread peace spread love spread, spread light uh, among communities that they work in and we hope that together we can work for a better future. Hi everyone, I'm Lilia, I'm Moldovan and I'm living in the Republic of Moldova. During this uncertain times when we are not free to do what we want, not free to travel, to see our friends, our parents, I want to let you know that you are not alone. We all have problems and the blast showed me there is nothing that could be solved. So don't forget to care about yourself first and you can care about others. I am Ines. I am Rwandan and I am currently living in Rwanda. My message to everyone is everything will eventually fall into place and we will all be alright again. Hi, my name is Alexi. I live in Mwanza, Tanzania. I know the world has been passing through the pandemic and it has distorted our peace. I would like to call upon all young people to participate in peace building. In unity and peace, the world will come again to its normal condition. Hi, my name is Jason. I'm from Colombia and I live in Barranquilla. I know this year has been a rough. We have been confronting one thing after another one. But although the circumstances, we have decided to set this new challenge. Facing up, standing up, because as long as we reunite and we fight back, 
we will bounce this fight back. And you know, this is not the first time we have fought like this. And sooner or later, we will come back much better, stronger, and overcome this. My name is Idefons Nyokindi from Burundi. I'd like to wish everyone who's watching this video a happy International Day of Peace. Yes, everyone's contribution matters for the world to achieve peace. It's not only the work of peace builders and peacemakers, but with unity and collaboration, we can all be part of this transformation. Despite the challenges, despite the pandemic, let's start by giving peace to people around us. Let's be the peace we want to see in the world. My name is Patrick Kofibain from Accra, Ghana. Every year typically has a few defining moments, but the past nine months has contained so many world-changing paradigms which includes escaping from Third World War, outbreak of wildfires, and emergence of global pandemic, which halted almost all human activities. Even though the brand new year, many people look at it with optimism and ask a chance at a new lease on life. It's never too late. We will surely recover and move out from this pandemic stronger and continue to live together. Hi, I'm David from Mexico, and I'm currently living in Monterey, Mexico. We're all being affected by this COVID-19 pandemic situation. Uh, despite all the economic activity stopped for months uh, in my city, affecting a lot of people, I was surprised how people and citizens organized to help those in need, but also to support medi uh, medics and doctors by social media campaigns. This shows that even when we cannot be close for, at this moment, uh, we can still help and make the difference. Hi, my name is Kevin, I'm from Tanzania. Um, as we know, the world is now suffering with this huge pandemic, which is COVID-19, and it has hit many countries very hard. Now this is the time for us to stay in unity, stay strong, and make sure you fight this disease together. Make sure you're a good peace ambassador. Ingrid, I'm Burundian, currently living in Canada. My message to you is dream. For real, dream. Right now, there are a lot of things that are happening that you didn't plan and you may feel down, but please dwell on what you want and I promise you it will find a way to you. Always be grateful, be love, and always, always dream. Hey guys, my name is Lucy. I'm currently living in Austria. Because of this pandemic we are facing, I really just hope that every single person is staying safe you keep on fighting and you don't lose hope especially when you have the opportunity to wear a mask please try to wear a mask and also to keep your distance to other people if it's possible for you to help out in the community it would be great to do so but most importantly don't lose hope you are not alone this is Matthias from Germany so we are living in difficult times at the moment and now it is more important than ever let's stay together Let's be solidaric with all the people around us. My name is Pinto, I'm Burundian and currently living in Rwanda. Peace. Peace is a, such a big word that this word needs to hear. Peace. I speak peace to the broken heart. I speak peace to all those young people who are going through hard time because of the lack of peace. Hi, my name is Avra. I'm Kurdish and I live in Germany. What do we need for peace? For me, the answer is clear. We need understanding. Understanding for everyone around us, but also for ourselves. I'm sure if we would have more understanding, we would treat people differently. And we would treat ourselves differently. And for this year, Peace Day, we say, Let's shape peace together. Let's shape peace together. Let's shape the peace together. Let's shape the peace together. Let's shape peace together. Let's shape peace together. Together, let's shape peace. Let's shape peace together. 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 Let's share peace together. Let's share peace together. Let's share peace together.
the utopia of a possible future together is no longer just a dream.